speaking of the gambling, did, did you in in the, in the in the clients that you had, did you ever see any successful gamblers? I I well, I think it's not. Yeah, unless you sort of go and buy, say, a lotto ticket and you win ten million, or well, one person, you know, well, one of our my the guys that I work with, and I didn't know him very well, but he won fifteen million. But unless you went, you went how much? Fifteen. Fifteen million in Oslotto. I see. How long ago was that? Oh, about two years ago. You're joking. Yeah, he just bought a ticket for six dollars, and he won that. Uh -huh. But unless you that type of thing, and I buy a lot of tickets, but I've never won anything big. But um, see, most pe if you go and play the poker machines or or some card games, that you really, um, you know, most people, ninety nine point nine percent. If, if you win a thousand, you put in two thousand mm -hmm. or something. The tax department used to say, you, you won one, you put in three. Uh, and that's about right. And, and yes. I, I, I was uh, in the poker machine club once, and this guy, uh, you know, just doing some one guy, he won, um, uh, you know, he's this Vietnamese guy, he's playing, and he wins a thousand dollars. And I thought, wow, that's fantastic. So he presses gamble and loses it. Yeah. He can double it or whatever. I said, what do you do that for? He said, oh, I'll, I'll win again. There's another guy uh, you're playing, and he was playing big amounts. And I said, "Wow, have you uh, have you uh, uh, ever won?" He said, "Yeah, yeah, I won that jackpot three times. Yeah, you know, the jackpot was something like fifteen thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. He's won it three times." I said, "Wow, you must be lucky." He said, "No." He said, "I won forty-five thousand, but I put a hundred thousand together." Yeah. So you will win. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you put keep more money in, but it's, it's a chance. It's, it's every mm. time you hit the, you know, there's a thousand, you know, a hundred thousand chances, and you mm. uh, have if you put in a hundred. You, you had that other guy who, who won money years ago in the bank, who put it into his TAB account. Oh uh, well, that, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he 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 won. It doesn't seem much now, but I think something like, um, I think it was six thousand dollars. But it's like like two houses or three houses, and. Um, he won this money, <clears throat> and then he, instead of buying a rental house, which or two rental houses, he went along. What and, year did he win this? Oh, it would have been about uh, when I started about sixty, about seventy, nine seventy. Nine, but you paid eleven for Cougar. Well, he, what, he, what, he, what he must have won about eighty, uh, you know, twenty thousand then. Okay. Yeah. He he, he, he he won two houses. Okay, two, yeah, two cheap houses. Two cheap houses. Two, yeah. two Cougars, you know. And, which, um, which Google is actually quite expensive. Yeah, yeah. It'd be four hundred each. Yeah, yeah, they? yeah, yeah. Now, so he won two houses, and uh, he bought a mm -hmm. updated his car, beautiful car, and then he put a TAB betting account, and he lost it all, you know, eventually. And I remember sure. when I worked with him again uh, uh, some years later, I had you know three investment houses and with debts, but three investment houses, and he was running down to the, the, the competing bank for a personal loan. I see. Yeah. So. Um, Very sad, isn't it? Didn't well, he also put money into a, into a men's store? Oh no, 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 that's another guy. Another guy. This guy won. Yeah, this guy won a lot of money. Um, he he won. Oh, I've forgotten how much he won now, but a few million they won, right? Yeah. And um, say, uh, oh, I've forgotten the amount, but it, it like it. See, again, it's a long time ago, and money's uh, now mm -hmm. not worth as much. But he but he won the equivalent, say, of three million or something, mm -hmm. and then he bought a men's store in Brisbane, a men's store in Ipswich, and he bought a yacht, a big yacht. But of course, he, he, you, know, you know, when you have a yacht, you have to, you've got a license, you know, the, the skip of the boat, you've got a license only to go to certain areas. Mm -hmm. And he went, the, the captain went outside the area and beached it, got it Shit. stuck. Well, nobody's going to rescue you, it costs you, you're going to fly a helicopter out and tow you out. I mean, how do you get them out, you know? Mm -hmm. So it just... It just disintegrated and nothing. And insurance wouldn't pay because you went outside the area. Jeez. It's, it's like, you know, if you have a car accident and you're drunk, well, insurance won't pay, will it? No, no, no. So that was that. And then his two stores, well, um, uh, his wife and this guy ran one in Brisbane and this other guy ran in Ipswich. And his wife ran, ran off with the guy who ran the store. Oh, so no. all of a sudden he ended up... Uh, he, well, to come long story short, I was working with him or you know, near him, and uh, after he'd won that money, mm -hmm. a year later, the bank had sold his house and he was, he was declaring himself bankrupt. You're joking? Yeah. Did you lose your job in the bank if you declared yourself bankrupt? No. Uh, I don't it's know what not he, a good career move. It's not good. <laughs> he won't be chief manager or anything. Um, 
I don't want to do. Um, he, he probably well, when I knew of him, he wasn't quite bankrupt. I suppose he was. They were, they were, they were, he was applying to be bankrupt. Well, I suppose he, bankrupt. He just put the papers in your bankrupt straight away. But he lost everything. How the hell could it have gone so bad? Well, just by silly moves, it, you know, he bought two businesses. Did which he know anything about these men's business, men's wear stores business? No, but he, he thought he did. You know, he thought that uh, clothes was the in way, and he, they, they were you know like sure. tailors and stuff. But he wasn't a tailor. See, um, he didn't mm. know, have any business sense. Uh, um, yeah. And his wife, well, she was just sick of him and uh, ran off with the other guy. Um, uh, the boat, well, he's. Anybody, you know, it's just like the, the other, the, those friends in Melbourne who had a car, the mother buys the son a car and the son lends it to his mate who gets drunk and smashes it. I mean, you know, people do silly things. And, and you know, if, if you, sure. I mean, for a parent to buy a car for the child that's, that's, or help with a car, that's good. But, you know, uh, still. And if that child's so stupid as to lend it to a mate who's, who's irresponsible, then if the child's are responsible, the mates are responsible, gets drunk, smashes it up, and there's no insurance, then what do you do? It's silly, isn't it? Uh, uh, uh. There's stupidity, and then there's stupidity. Well, a lot of people do silly things, I suppose that's life, but uh, um, we all do some silly things Mind sometimes. You get, you're getting divorced just as you, you retire isn't yeah. a smart thing either. No, it's not a smart move either, but, but then sometimes... But mind you, if you if you had to live with her and that there, that that can sometimes you you best to cut your losses and and and, and um... yeah, and uh, you know, I find somebody who's uh, maybe or if you stay by yourself or find somebody who's more compatible or mm -hmm. um, you just you know, look after your own little pie. Um, I, uh, I I'm like looking back. I, I think I was, I'm happy that I'm by myself. I've got my I'm in charge of my own destiny. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll come back to that in a minute, mm -hmm. there, but. Just talking about lotto wins. So, so that guy who had the menswear store, that was a disaster. Yeah. This other guy, um, you know, he'd be, he'd be right, but he's retired now. And he just put it away. Yeah, you know, yeah. And and there's another guy. I remember um, he won. He, he, well, that guy who that had the the, the uh, menswear store, he, he won it in him and his friend. Now his friend mm -hmm. was much older. His friend was about sixty. I see. But his friend was um, had. Had cancer, was a treater for cancer. So obviously he, he's put the money away in the bank, you know, paid off his mm. debts, and his wife then was, um, you know, looked sure. after. I suppose his kids. Sure. But so he didn't do anything silly. It's a guy called Alec. Yeah. Uh, but um, he, the, the 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 other guy was was did stupid things, you know. Lost sure. Him, yeah. So yeah. um yeah, I, well I'd like this. If I wouldn't mind winning a large amount of money, I think because I can. Manage the odds are very much against you. No, you know, well, the, they the, are. The, the, I mean, I mean, the, 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 there's the certainty is is to. I mean, you've got the big house. The certainty is 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 to do it slowly. That's the thing, is isn't it? That's that's well, the thing. Really, if you, if you acquire what you got by yourself, then you appreciate how hard it is to get it, and you got to look after it. But mm -hmm. if you um, yeah. Have it given to you, it yeah. may not be the same. Yeah. That's very true, that. Okay, thank you.